It's that time again. Time to make Monday yours. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Drew in the Moment. This is Make Monday Yours, our new series. This is episode five. Welcome in if you are new to our channel or new to the series. This series is meant to help you guys a little bit, help myself as well, uh, you know, to, uh, to start the week off right, to start it off on a Monday morning, which a lot of us, it is, it's just difficult. It's difficult to, to feel the fire and, and, you know, want to attack the week, you know, because we're tired from the weekend and all of those sort of things. So in, you know, this, this series that we're doing, I will be picking uh, a topic that is relevant to me and hopefully relevant to you guys um, and, and have a little chat while we have a nice little walk. I'm near my home right now, near the lake, and, uh, but I hope you get something from this video that is positive. Um, and ironically enough, what we're going to talk about today is failure. Now, failure for myself and for so many of you, it's a, it's a terrible thing. You know, failing is not good. Nobody wants to fail. We all want to just succeed right off the bat because it's hard to fail. What can I say? It, it is, it's not fun. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say that it's fun because it's not. But it is important. It is so important for growth. You need to fail so you can grow because what you end up doing, you have two options. One, you fail and you retreat and pretty much give up or you take that failure and you learn from it. You know, and that's the biggest thing. You, you gotta utilize it and learn from a failure. Um, I have failed so many, so many times in my life. I really have, uh, time and time again, I have failed a hundred times on YouTube. I've, you know, messed things up. I I've done this, that, or the other thing. And the thing is, I, I had to step back when I said, you know, when I felt bad, cause when you, when you fail, you feel bad about yourself, you know what I mean? You, you, you feel like a failure, which you, you cannot think like that. In last week's episode, we were talking about self-talk, and this goes kind of hand in hand, where when you fail, you call yourself a failure, you feel like a loser, or you know, you, whatever, whatever these words are that you, you know, say to yourself, and the only, like, it's a thing where like, the only failure is if you give up. If you give up, Wh whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it is YouTube, whether uh, it's uh, a sport that you're trying to, to be good at, or a job that you're, you're, you know, you're trying to be successful, you're trying to succeed, you know, and the thing is, you, you, you're not the failure. Yes, you failed, but it's a good thing for growth because we failed so many times at, for example, doing live streams, finding, you know, connecting and finding the right way to do it. We failed, we, you know, get to the point where you almost want to tear your hair out because it's so frustrating. But instead of putting it down, saying we're not doing the channel anymore, or we're not doing the live stream, we just said, okay, well that didn't work. What is gonna work, you know, I, like how can we, how can we remedy this? Because we wanna keep going. And, and that's what I'm trying to instill with you guys. Whatever you got going on in your world, as far as something you're trying to succeed at, don't let the failure, you know, make you give up. Do not let that make you give up. Don't call yourself a failure. I, because I, I did, I heard something, and it, and it actually changed my thought process. It was pretty wild, and I think they, I think they say it, uh, you know, in the UK, I believe, if I'm correct, um, they never say, like, for example, like if you're not feeling well, they don't say I'm sick. They say I have sickness on me, which, 
it took me a moment to realize what they were really trying to say. And I was like, oh my goodness. So they're just saying it's something on you. You know, like I got sickness on me, but it's not me. That is not like permanently me. I'm not like sick. The sickness is on me, but it is gonna go away. And same with failure. Failure is not permanent, you know? Giving up is. Giving up is permanent. And I don't want you guys to give up, and I don't want you guys to, you know, take, take that failure personal. Everybody fails, and we're gonna fail a million more times, you know? But what you do, you really gotta, you gotta try to separate yourself and think about what did I learn from this? How, how, okay, I failed, but okay, let's look at why I failed. And then the next time, try not to do that, you know? And, and, and really, really take that failure as a, you know, as like a, an area that you can, you can just take a bunch of information from to bring it over here so you can learn and teach yourself the right way to do something. I, I have baked for years, like baking bread and baking, you know, cupcakes and whatnot, things like that. And you have no idea how many times I failed. Uh, and I was all, you know, I'm self-taught and I just kept failing, but my passion and my love for baking just didn't allow me to accept like the failure and go, okay, I'm done. I, I failed. Uh, I, I can't do it because once you do that, like I said, that's permanent. If I, if I stop making, you know, baking and making bread, uh, I, I never would have learned how to make bread. You know what I mean? Like it, it's one of those things, but it, we all, we all look at it and we take it personal and we feel bad and it's just a part of of the process it's just a part of the process of learning because if you just look back when you were younger and you look at all the times say riding a bike how many times did you fail riding a bike but as a kid you you had that good naiveness that that you just had that thing in you that didn't take it personal you didn't just feel bad. You were just like, oh, that didn't work. I got to do it again until I figure out how it works. You know, and then you end up riding your bike. And that is how you learn. That is just how you learn. And I don't want any of you this morning to feel bad. I want you to honestly just take it, take the information in and say, that's fine. I failed. Let's look at it. Let's figure out what I need to do for next time and just keep moving and keep moving on because you have to keep moving on so you can grow and all of that stuff. You know, like we've been doing this YouTube channel for five years. Like I said, we failed so many times, but we just kept picking ourselves up. You know, I'd be, I'd be lying if I didn't say a couple times it, you know, I took it personal. I felt like a failure. And then I had to really think about it and I had to go back to all these things that I've learned over the years of like, wait a minute, it's okay, Drew. It's okay to fail. Like you have to give, your, give yourself permission to fail. I know it kind of sounds weird, but you do. You have to give yourself permission to fail and you gotta just say, it's not personal, it's life. It's how we grow, you know? So I don't know what you guys, you know, what your dreams are or, or you know, what, what your ultimate goal is for whatever you're doing, whatever it is. Just keep going. Take that failure as an instruction. You're gonna fail your way to success. That is the truth. Think, so many people have failed. Steve Jobs has failed, you know what I mean? Uh, Walt Disney has failed. So many people. Einstein has failed. I mean, you know, Edison with the light bulb. I always use that as an example, but it's it's such a powerful thing. It was like a thousand 
you know, he, he figured out a thousand ways or whatever not to make, you know, how to not make a light bulb. But he didn't, he, he took the failure and said, okay, that didn't work. Let's try this thing. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try this thing until he figured it out. You know, so, uh, so yes, I, I just don't want you guys to take failure internally, feel bad, feel like a failure, because that is just not how it is. It's not how it works. It just means you're human, you're gonna mess up, but you have the opportunity to take that information and figure out whatever it is to succeed. Simple as that, but uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in today. I hope this got you uh, you know, excited for the week. I hope it maybe uh, lifted you up a little bit because that is what our channel is essentially all about is uh, I, I, I want to we're in this together and I want to I want to try to help you guys in any way that I personally can and I always try I, you know I try to let you guys know that I, I am right there with you man this is uh, you, you know we're all in this together this is a group effort you know to uh, to get through some of these uh, some of these things that we all deal with but guys thank you again for tuning in I hope you have a wonderful Monday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live, in the moment. Bye, guys.